You're watching Weekend Saturdays. Here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech. I am in no way, shape or form a fully qualified mechanic. Therefore, if you are following along with this service repair and or information video, you are doing this at your own risk. So you have been warned. All right. Now, if like old mate, you maintain your own vehicle, the weekend's the perfect opportunity to do it, isn't it, really? Particularly, say, Saturdays. Well, it's quite appropriate being the weekend. We've got an 80 series video for you. And for this one, comes off the back of a viewer's question regarding the temperature sensor for the ECM. You see, they've been told it's near the oil filter. Technically, that's true. It's just that it's, well, not exactly where they thought it was. One of the best four-wheel drives ever made. Here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech. It's 80 Series time. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is 80 Series time here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech for weekend Saturdays. And this comes off the back of a question from a viewer regarding the ECM's temp sensor. They were told... It's right near the oil filter. Technically it is. It's just that it's not next to it. The exact location of the temperature sensor. Now we all know the one FZFE. All right. We've seen my motor. So if you've seen my motor, you know the one FZFE. Okay. Pretty easy motor to work on. Especially the distributor based one anyway. The temperature sensor for it. Now this is the temp sensor on the ECM. Okay. Is actually... It is near the oil filter. It's just that it's not where the oil filter is. It's actually up the top. It's right near the manifold inlet for cylinder two, bottom right corner. All right. Now, bottom, on the other side is the oil sensor, or at least that's what I think is the oil pressure sensor. But on the, le on the inlet manifold side, it's the temperature sensor next to cylinder two. So it's on the bottom right, for example, say five o'clock, of cylinder two so it is technically near the oil filter because the oil filter is pretty much in line with cylinder two but it's just that it's actually right near the inlet manifold now the viewers asked a question as to what needs to be done it's not easy to get out with all the vacuum hoses that are underneath it we'll go to the 80 in just a moment and i'll show you with all the hoses and vacuum lines that are under there, it's not the easiest thing to get to. But you can get to it without... You can almost get to it without taking off the manifold. But you are going to have to move some hoses about to actually get to it. Um, now, I do, I, as you guys know, I do all my own maintenance and I maintain the 80 myself. The only thing I can't do would be a the auto overhaul all right and one plan i've got for this christmas is to change the trans oil i hope i can try and change the trans oil it's not easy to do I, i'm led to believe and i don't know um hobbs might be able to or mark might be able to tell me but changing the transmission oil especially with a cooler because it's 12.1 liters of trans transmission atf that it takes and um, you're supposed to use dot two. I found mine's running better with dot three, actually. But anyway, what I'm going to do is we're going to, um, we'll have to do that this coming Christmas. But anyway, back to the temp sensor. So if you're looking at the inlet side of the motor, all right, so for my US viewers, that'd be the driver's side. For my Aussie viewers and anyone else who drives on the right-hand side, our cousins across the Dutch, etc. It's on the passenger side of the vehicle. It's at five o'clock on cylinder two. But it it it's a little messy to get to, but I'll, I'll take you out without pulling every, the everything off my motor. Uh, we'll go out and I'll show you about where it is. Now, the viewer basically was a little bit miffed, saying that he can't see it. You're not really going to see it, actually, because it is in a, it's, to be honest with you, it's in a mongrel of a spot. It really isn't a mongrel of a spot, but you can get to it. 
if you don't mind working blind. There's about three ways you can actually get to that temp sensor, and I'll show you how to do that. So let's grab the video camera and head out to the 80 series. All right, well, apologies for the wind noise, but we're still slightly recovering from last night's and yesterday's storms. It is still very wet, and uh, when I went out yesterday, I drove through a puddle, and the 80s is about as clean as it's been for a while. All righty. So, the temperature sensor. Now, the viewer says it's somewhere down here, and technically it is, in the low, it is near the oil filter, but it's actually in under there, all right? So it's basically, it's, it's very hard to get to. You really need to come up from underneath, but you can get to it and it's actually, uh, where is it? It's down in there, all right? That's where it is. At five o'clock to cylinder two, all right? So there's cylinder two and it's at five o'clock to the top of the cylinder. All right, you can get to it from underneath. It's not easy, and if you've got long arms, it'll make it a little easier. But that's where the temp sensor is located. All right, the oil pressure sensor is on the other side. Well, at least I believe mine is over there under the exhaust manifold on, between cylinder two and three. Um, but basically, yeah, it's. I don't think you can actually. Oh, you, yes, you can. You can sort of see it. I'm trying to. You can sort of see it down in there, all right? But on the 1FZFE Dizzy, okay, I don't know what it is with the spark pack, but with the Dizzy model, it's at five o'clock on cylinder two, all right? The other two sensors are your engine sensors, all right? Which are down, down under there. I can't actually get to it, but you can see here, to get to all of this, you've got to take off half this stuff, all right? You can probably get to the temperature sensor going in through here, all right? You'd have to take off your um, your carbon canister vacuum valve. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, yeah um, I can't think what this is called again, but you gotta get, you can get, it, get to it under there. You get this off and then you can reach in and unplug it and put the new one in with a new gasket and everything. So that's where it is. All right, now, it is rather chilly out here at the moment. So I think, as always with our 80 series videos here at Old Mates, because my 80 series fans love this. Let's, uh, Let's do a cold start, because it is actually quite cold. Oh, I don't need the windshield wipers on. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this. I don't think there's a better sounding straight six than the big one FZFE. I really don't. Coming from a Holden man, I don't even think a 202 sounds as good as this engine. These engines, I love these engines. The one thing I do just wanna to mention too, guys, which we've spoken about in the past, all right, just before we finish this video up, Take this one FZFE, and this is fairly simplistic EFI. I say fairly simplistic EFI. Compared to today's petrol six cylinders that are out, this engine is very simple. 
far more simple than today's six cylinders. The last of the petrol V8s that Toyota used, I think in the first of the 200s, is more complicated than this six cylinder. Now this is EFI, this is all EFI, but it is simplistic EFI, okay? It's easy to work on, it's very, it's less complicated than today's six cylinders, all right? There we go, so as I said, temperature sensors at five o'clock on cylinder two, all right? So it's down there, down in line, here's, here's your inlet manifold for two, it's down that corner there. So yes, it is near the oil filter, but it's actually up on the inlet side of cylinder two. So there we go, job done. Stick around, we'll see what else crops up. Oh, we have got another video actually, haven't we? I've got to talk to you about my Toshiba satellite laptop. I forgot about that. Anyway, there we are, 80 series video. Have a good one. This has been an Old Mate's Backyard Tech presentation.